Baboon TV presents 10 Mind-Blowing Child Prodigies Number 10 The youngest member of Mensa is Tanishk Matthew Abraham. He joined at age 4 but started to exhibit his genius at just 4 months when he was already looking through children's books and successfully answering questions about the books. He scored in the 99.9 .9 percentile on the standardized Mensa IQ test when he joined. He completed the math courses that are offered in Stanford's education program for gifted youth at five levels in six months at five years old. He is now six and is taking high school and college level courses. He is one of the youngest people to be inducted into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Number nine. At three years old, Ethan Bortnick began to play the keyboard. By age five, he was composing. He made his debut on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno in 2007 and since then has been playing numerous gigs. Ethan is a Guinness World Record holder for being the world's youngest solo musician to headline a tour. He is also the youngest headliner to play Vegas. Number 8. Akim Kamara of Berlin began to play violin at two years old. He exhibited the amazing ability in the music long before he could even talk. His music teacher said that he has a natural ear for music. After only six months of lessons, he was able to play extraordinarily well and at three made his debut performance during a Christmas concert. Number seven, Priyanshi Samani is a mental calculation prodigy. She began mental calculation at six years old and at age 11, she entered into the mental calculation World Cup in 2010. She was the youngest participant and won the competition. The winning question was to solve the square root of 10 six digit numbers. She did so in six minutes and 51 seconds, a record breaking time. She is the only one in the history of the competition to maintain 100% accuracy. She went on to solve the square root of 10 six-digit numbers in 2 minutes and 43 seconds in January 2012, making her the new world record holder in mental square roots. Number 6. The youngest person to ever be accepted into Hong Kong University is March Tian Bordihario at the age of 9. He earned 8 GCSEs and took a special double degree program with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematical Science and Master of Philosophy in Mathematics. He completed his degree in 2011. He graduated one year earlier than was expected and is currently working on earning a PhD in mathematics in a U.S. university. Number 5. Jacob Barnett is a young mathematician who, at two years old, was diagnosed with a severe form of autism. Doctors warned his parents that Jacob would likely not be able to talk, read, or be independent. Jacob proved the doctors wrong, and by the age of three, he was able to recite the alphabet backwards and forwards. During a visit to the planetarium at age three, Jacob didn't hesitate to answer all of the presenter's questions. A few years later, at age 10, he was accepted into the Indiana University Purdue University of Indianapolis. While working on his PhD in quantum physics, Jacob hopes to one day disprove Einstein's theory of relativity. Number four. Cameron Thompson from North Wales is considered a mathematical genius. By age 11, he began to study a degree in mathematics at the Open University. He passed two GCSEs and GCEs in advanced level math at the same age. He was featured on a BBC show called The Growing Pains of a Teenage Genius. He has Asperger's syndrome, which has caused him some difficulties throughout school, but it hasn't affected his mathematical genius. Number three. The youngest person ever to build a functional fuser is Tyler Ramon Wilson. At age 10, he built a bomb and by age 14 had built the fuser. He won the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in 2011. He discussed his ideas on self-contained nuclear fission reactors during a TED conference in February 2013. He was responsible for engineering a compact nuclear reactor he claims would generate 50 megawatts worth of power and requires refueling once every 30 years. Number 2. Amrit Pran Jaswal lives in India and became famous after performing his very first surgery at the age of seven. Not officially a doctor at the time of the surgery, the locals considered the young boy to be a medical prodigy. His first surgery was separating the fingers of an eight-year-old whose hands were covered in burns. At age 12, Akrit enrolled in university to study medicine. By age 17, he was working towards a master's in applied chemistry. He is currently researching a cure for cancer. Number one. At the age of 11, Michaela Irene Futelig was accepted into the University of the Philippines. She enrolled in the Bachelor of Physics and graduated at 16. She is now a professor at the University of the Philippines and is also enrolled as a PhD student. 
Thanks for watching another amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.